everybody, welcome to episode one of my podcast, Minecraft Short Stories. I am your host, Callum Ellis, and this is a podcast about short stories that I write, then read, and there's also going to be a quiz at some point inside the podcast, so make sure that you know your Minecraft. Okay then. Let us get right into the story. Creepers are important. Ocelots are evil. All this is what Cobble learned at Boom University. Though, as her parents would say, not even a good education stops you from adopting a stray ocelot. Of course, they would have to know about the ocelot to say this. She had found the ocelot when she was doing her mandatory rounds around the village to try to blow up a player. She had gone to the stream when she heard a suspicious splashing emerging from it. Floundering in the water was a stray ocelot. For some reason, Cobble didn't run away or explode. She just stood still. And to Cobble's wonder, the ocelot came up to her leg and started purring. This didn't make sense. Ocelots were supposed to be evil. Under the cover of darkness, Cobble snuck the small ocelot home. Cobble lived in a medium-sized house on the outskirts of Silverfish Woods. School was only a short walk away. At first, Cobble had no idea how to hide an ocelot. How could you hide a creeper's mortal enemy in a creeper village? After a lot of searching, she finally found one of those mysterious dirt huts players made. She made sure to search the area before she made the ocelot's home. After a few months, the ocelot's house looked a lot more habitable, and the ocelot looked a lot less runty. School was about the same for Cobble. The only difference was that at lunch, she had to sneak off and catch some fish for the hungry ocelot. Another difference was that she was always worrying if others would find her ocelot and alert the village. During explosive stealth, she worried. During player avoiding lessons, she worried. But most of all, she worried what her parents would say if they found out about her dishonesty. One day at bedtime, Cobble had to know something. Mom, Dad, why do we hate ocelots? They're so cute. I, um, saw one in a textbook. Have we not told you the story yet? Her mom said. Her dad paused. Well, um, let's see. It goes like this. Part 2. The Story of the Ocelots One day, when the creeper still inhabited the jungle, Cobble's dad began, An ocelot came to our king, King Powder, and was taken in. This ocelot was an assassin. Not Cobble, her dad said. This is embarrassing, but Creeper is one of the easiest mobs to assassinate. Really, Cobble said interested? Yes. Unfortunately, all you have to do is surprise them, then they go and explode. Her dad said, Okay, where was I? Oh, right. Now, this ocelot had the king's favor. It would perform tricks and do other things. In time, the ocelots had grown jealous of the Creepers and wanted the jungle for themselves. The king's ocelot was regularly reporting to the other ocelots and giving them info on the creeper's habits and weaknesses. We don't know when, but they eventually found out that the creepers explode when surprised. Now, Cobble, back then they didn't have classes like we do to help them not to be surprised. Exploding was a real danger. One day, when the king had had his own ocelot for many months, the ocelot's time to strike came. The king's ocelot reached up and with a long scrape scratched the king. With a horrendous boom, the king was gone. The ocelots were waiting for that signal and rushed in to finish it. The furry wave of ocelots must have been very surprising, for a good part of the population died that day. And that was how the ocelots took the jungle, and why we hate them. Cobblestack concluded with a long sigh. I hope you guys enjoyed that story. If you would like to see a continuation of that story, wait for a future episode. And that is not the only story. I will also be doing other stories, some bonus episodes. But every single episode, there will be a quiz. So look forward to that. And now it is actually time for the quiz. It is now time for a quiz. This quiz is kind of easy. I know most of the uh, Minecrafters out there are probably going to get this right on. But the question is... What was the creeper when Mojang first implemented it? The creeper was actually a messed up what? A. Spider. B. Squid. C. Pig. And finally, Enderman.
Take time to think of your decision. The answer is... C. Pig. I know you guys all got that. That was really easy. When Mojang first implemented the pig, they actually messed it up and it looked just like a creeper. The creeper was then later changed to be its own mob, and the pig, of course, is also its own mob now. And there are no terrifying creeper pigs there anymore. Unless, of course, you get a mod or a data pack. And if you do do that, then... Then you know what a pig looked like before it was a pig. Thank you all for listening to the first episode of Minecraft Short Stories. I hope you enjoyed the story and enjoyed the quiz. This is the host Kyle Mellis signing off.